Today, the 9th of May 2017, Vodafone launched their Volti service in the United Kingdom, meaning that as of today, the UK has Volti supported on all mobile network operators or MNOs. This Vodafone Volti release so far is a soft launch. There hasn't been any public PR release about it yet and it isn't nationwide. Furthermore, devices currently supported is solely the Sony XZ, although things like the iPhones, especially like the iPhone 7 and the latest Samsung Galaxy, so S7 and S8, will obviously be coming rather soon, I suspect. Well, I know, certainly for like the iPhone 7 and the Samsung S8, I mean, you wouldn't not support those handsets. And actually, likewise, with the um, Sony XZ, obviously, the XZ Premium is being released soon, and I very much suspect that will be supported as a result. So, Vodafone is the fourth network in the UK to release uh, Volti to their customers. And while they are intrinsically, sort of fundamentally, the last, I don't think that sort of blame should be put on them because of that, because there are certain sort of precip precipitating factors to why the other operators might have been more expeditious in their release of faulty technology. So, for example, in the case of EEM3, for their extended range LTE services on 800 MHz, you need to have a Volti device in order to access it, and therefore, in order to be able to offer their customers greater coverage from the low band spectrum, they needed to support Volti and release it early. O2, meanwhile, has low band spectrum for voice and didn't have any new low band spectrum to boost their coverage footprint with. However, O2 spectrum wise is very limited, especially when you compare it to Vodafone EE's spectrum portfolio. And this means that you want to use a spectrum that you have as effectively as you can. And LTE is the most efficient layer for carrying data and voice, especially compared to 2G. So it made sense again for O2 to release Volti. And actually, O2 didn't release their Volti all that long ago. It was only about two or three videos ago for me that they released their Volti service. So I think the Vodafone's actually not releasing it late at all, really, when you consider their very good spectrum position and sort of usage demands at the current time. Furthermore, Volti is something it is very, very important not to rush because customers really, really notice when calls drop, calls fail, calls take forever to initialize, you know, poor quality calling as well. And a poorly set up Volti system does lead to all manner of call problems. So it's certainly not wanted for a network to rush it. And that's another reason that I have absolutely no issues at all with Vodafone releasing their Volti at this point in time. So when travelling about and making calls and receiving calls, check the signal indicator on your device because if it stays 4G during a voice telephone call, then that means that the call is going over Volti and many phones also have a symbol to indicate when the phone is using Volti. At the start of the video, I said that the Sony XZ was the current supported handset, although there have been rumours of other phones doing Vodafone's Volti today and actually slightly in the past, such as the Vodafone Smart Ultra 6, which is Vodafone's sort of own brand handset, which you kind of would think would support Volti. And also things like the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S8 I have read to apparently have done Volti for some calls for sort of some people but not consistently which would fit with them testing it. In terms of areas that are covered with Volti service right now it's probably London and a few other 
top tier cities because London seems to get things um, first quite often because it's the UK's top city although of course as time goes on it will move nationwide as you would very much expect. And just talking about general comparison Vodafone, O2 and EE have completely shaken up their roaming provisions recently massive changes especially on the part of EE and Vodafone also to a certain extent O2 which I hope to cover in an upcoming video as well so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one